You're watching 11 News at 10. A toddler with severe burns pulled from a house on fire. We first reported this story last week, and we were surprised to learn the little boy had to be taken to Louisiana for care. The reason, we no longer have the facilities to treat severely burned children here in Houston. Since then, 11 News reporter Sherman Chow has been investigating, and what she uncovered is something every parent should know. Sherman? Yeah, and in fact, there will be an official announcement about all this tomorrow by Shriners Hospital. Now, in this case, both father and son were badly burned. Father actually is at Memorial Hermann in its adult burn wing, and that treats patients with burns on less than 30% of their body. Over 30% requires a far more specialized burn facility, especially for children. Flames and smoke devastate a small home in Cleveland and a little boy inside. You see your baby there and you're trying to rescue him and you grab a hold of him and the skin's just coming off. His loved ones tell us Dylan Mills suffered second and third degree burns over 80% of his body. But the closest pediatric burn unit capable of handling his case was in Shreveport, Louisiana. Thanks to Ike, the Shriners Burn Hospital in Galveston can take no more patients, particularly hard news for Dylan's grandfather, a lifelong Shriner. He's 18 months old. The only thing he didn't get burned was the bottom of his feet. Jim Garacy called on top Shriners to get his grandson into a Shriners Burn Hospital. It would not be possible. It was mind-boggling that he had to go to Louisiana when we had an excellent place in, in Galveston, Texas. Our Northern California Hospital uh, will be triaging those patients. Now, a child from our area will have to fly cross-country to Sacramento, Boston, or Cincinnati for Shriners burn expertise. Since Ike, at least 67 acute burn trauma patients have been referred to those facilities. And what about the 2,000 burn reconstruction patients who were also assigned to Galveston? In a major move, Houston will absorb them all. We will be taking care of uh, uh, the reconstructive, the surgery needs, the outpatient department needs. Houston's Shriners Orthopedic Hospital is hiring dozens of Shriners Galveston doctors and staff. We'll be uh, working with them to assimilate them into the orthopedic world and they will be working with us to assimilate us into the, the burn world. And what about acute trauma patients like Dylan who need immediate care? Memorial Herman and other groups are talking about a true burn center here in Houston. Is that triggered in part by the closure of Shriners and uh, the problem? It there? is, and the need that we have in this part of the country. Trauma physician Drew Ware reminds us we live in petrochemical country and in uncertain times. Burns are a very significant problem that we have. Fortunately, we don't deal with it every day, but we certainly could. I mean, after 9-11 and things such as that, there's no telling what could, could occur. No telling. Dylan's family grapples with that every day. We're praying that he hasn't lost his sight. Dylan's eyes have been sutured shut, likely for the next three months, in hopes that they will heal. He cannot be medevac to a Shriners facility now because he's simply not stable enough. So for now, a web camera connects father and son and mom, who's also in Louisiana. Tomorrow, dad will be able to see Dylan after his latest round of skin grafts. For more, please go to our website at khou.com. For now, I'm Sherman Min Chow, live at the Texas Medical Center. First in HD, this is 13 Eyewitness News at 6. The road to recovery and the fallout from Hurricane Ike. With the cutbacks at the University of Texas Medical Branch in Galveston, emergency rooms in other areas of town have been literally swamped with people in need. Some people we have talked to say they have had to wait up to five hours before seeing a doctor. ER doctors say more help is needed. Eyewitness News reporter Kevin Quinn joins us live from Memorial Hermann Hospital with the story new at six. Kevin? Gina, here at Memorial Hermann, doctors say the ER has been at or past capacity every single day since Hurricane Ike. That is in part because this is a level one trauma center where the most serious of patients are treated. But ERs across the greater Houston area are now seeing demand like they have never seen before. 
Although UTMB has now reopened the emergency room at its hospital, it is only operating in a limited capacity. Hospital officials say the most serious patients are rushed elsewhere for treatment. That's exacerbated an already critical condition at overcrowded emergency rooms across the greater Houston area. I'm very impatient. <laughs> Angela Taylor's boyfriend came to the mainland medical center after cutting his head and dislocating his shoulder in a fight. She can't say exactly how long they've waited for treatment today. Probably about four or five hours. Barbara Orham has had uncontrollable blood pressure since Friday. Since she'd waited previously at a hospital for seven hours, she was trying to avoid the ER today. Oh, you don't want to come over here when you feel bad and sit all that time. Mainland Hospital tells us ER traffic is up 40% since UTMB scaled back services. Herman Hospital says their numbers have increased at least 25%. At Clear Lake Regional Hospital, ER patient load is up 20%. I think there's an overcrowding problem in every single emergency department in, in the whole Houston area. At Herman, doctors say this is a symptom of a much larger patient care problem, a lack of level one trauma facilities around the Houston area. Without UTMB, there are only two, and there are no concrete plans in the works to build another. The problem is we don't have anyone standing up saying, I want to do it. And so without enough level one trauma space, level two and three facilities now are finding that they're bearing much more of the burden trying to treat the more seriously wounded. The walking wounded also finding longer wait times at ERs around the Houston area. UTMB does tell us they hope to have their facility up and operating at least at a little bit greater level later this year. We're live in the medical center tonight. Kevin Quinn, 13 Eyewitness News. Five. Memorial Hermann Hospital is overloaded. The medical center facility had to go on what's called drive-by status this afternoon. That means right now it's not accepting any more trauma patients. 11 News reporter Ron Trevino joins us from the hospital. Ron, how is this related to the condition of UTMB in Galveston? Well, Lucy, UTMB in Galveston no longer handles major trauma, and doctors say the Houston area should have at least three major trauma centers. But thanks to Ike, now we only have two. When Ike devastated UTMB in Galveston, it also took away a level one trauma center. And the ripple effects are still being felt in hospitals all over the Houston area, in particular here at Memorial Hermann in the medical center. It's been really hectic. We've been busy every single day. Um, we have people in the hallways. Um, our wait time has increased. The Houston area now only has two level one trauma centers, the kind that can handle the worst trauma, Ben Taub and Memorial Hermann. What do you think is going on with them? Dr. James McCarthy is director of emergency services here. He says Memorial Herman is struggling to handle the load. We're running um, at an extremely high census right now. We have over, over 700 inpatients. Uh, there's, there's no room. He says right now Memorial Herman in the Med Center is on track to handle 7,000 trauma cases this year. That would make it one of the busiest trauma centers in the country. He says Houston is underserved by having only two trauma centers like this one. We know that if Memorial Hermann's trauma center and Ben Taub's trauma center are both on divert and you're taken to an outlying hospital, your risk of dying goes up by about 30%. Another reason for so much traffic in the ER here, Memorial Hermann has the helipad. Ben Taub doesn't. On the weekends, they now handle 30 flights a day at Memorial Hermann, a 50% increase. The trauma center here remains on drive-by status. Lately, that's been happening several times a week. They, see, they say that we need a new trauma center here in the Houston area. Of course, that would take a lot of money. Live in the medical center, Ron Trevino, 11 News. This is 13 Eyewitness News, Houston's News Leader. The new salary cuts are just the latest economic troubles for Galveston. Yesterday, hundreds of employees at Galveston Shriners Children's Hospital found out they're out of jobs. The hospital says it is now suspending renovation and reconstruction until further notice. Shriners stopped seeing patients right after Ike, and more than 300 employees are still on the payroll. And most will continue to be paid through the end of March, but that's it. The hospital says budget problems due to the economy and Hurricane Ike are to blame. And that hospital shutdown of Shriners means other area hospitals must get ready to treat more children with burns. The chief of surgery at Children's Memorial Herman Hospital in Houston says children with burns on more than 20% of their body were typically passed on to Shriners Hospital in Galveston. Now, Memorial Herman is holding meetings to see how it can meet the demand to eventually treat the entire spectrum of pediatric burns. 
but we're going to have to immediately expand our capacity to at least carry, caring for up to 30 percent burns. Um, it, it just we can't send these children um, out. Children's Memorial Herman says it could take a year to get full capacity in treating children with severe burns.